So hi friends, I am Dr. Swapna Chekuri from Hyderabad Women and Fertility Center. Welcome to my channel FertiCare. Today we will be discussing the most commonly asked queries uh, regarding uh, uh, no, uh, jaundice in uh, newborn. So basically so many of individuals will have uh, like whatever mother eats uh, will it lead to a jaundice in babies. So nothing of that sort. So let us know what is jaundice. Jaundice is nothing but uh, yellowish discoloration of the skin and uh, sclera, uh, sclera part of the eye. So basically it is because of the bilirubin pigment which is produced in the body. Uh, in newborns what happens when the new blood cells starts producing the old red blood cells will be destroyed by the liver. So that's how the yellow pigment bilirubin is produced in the body. So usually in the newborns the once the bilirubin pigment is there that will bypass through the liver and from the liver it gets excreted into the intestines and from the bowels it gets excreted outside either through the stool or through the urine. So that's how the bilirubin levels will be under control. But in in some babies where the liver is immature like it is if it is underdeveloped then the liver may not be able to metabolize this uh, yellow pigment which is nothing but bilirubin and uh, that will lead to increased concentration of bilirubin in the blood which presents as jaundice so basically we need to understand who are the individuals who are at risk of developing jaundice first thing is like you know uh, breastfeed jaundice uh, uh, I mean you know breast milk jaundice it's uh, nothing like you know if you feed your baby you will get jaundice nothing of that sort in this type of jaundice what happens in some individuals there will be a substance in the breast milk which uh, inhibits the proteins in the liver uh, which helps for the you know breakdown of bilirubin pigment so they, because of this substance uh, the proteins may not be able to degrade the uh, you know yellow pigment bilirubin so that's how they present to us as jaundice but in these individuals also we usually advise ladies to feed adequate so as to excrete bilirubin as much as possible from the blood so that's the commonest thing second thing is inadequate feeding if you don't feed your babies adequately adequately in the sense either it should be like demand feeds or it should be like you know every two to three hours you should feed your baby don't think that the baby is taking this to their sleeping let them sleep nothing of that sort every two to three hours you need to feed your baby adequately and uh, that's when uh, you know they can uh, we can prevent jaundice in those type of babies so adequate uh, feeding is also mandatory third and foremost is like premature babies like you know uh, some individuals in uh, premature infants especially the liver will be underdeveloped in those individuals also the liver may not be able to metabolize this yellow pigment which is produced from the destruction of the red blood cells so in those cases also the bilirubin levels will go high and that will again lead to jaundice again we need to think what's the importance of jaundice what happens if you neglect uh, see up to certain levels of jaundice it's okay up to 12 grams or even 10 to 12 grams it's okay but if it grows beyond 20 it can lead to permanent brain damage which can lead to carnitris and it can lead to hearing loss as well so that's also most important to detect jaundice as early as possible and to get treatment adequately and uh, that's the most important thing and uh, the another thing is like a Coombs test so in some babies where there is a uh, incompatibility between the mother and the baby blood group suppose if the mother is negative and the baby is positive or in case of ABO incompatibility so there will be antibodies produced against the own red blood cells of the baby in those individuals also the red blood cells will be destroyed more than the normal and uh, that can lead to increase in the bilirubin pigment in the blood and which usually presents to us as jaundice so in those type of individuals also we need to you know uh, take adequate care and adequate hydration at the same time adequate feeding of the baby so these are all different types of jaundice where we can expect overall if we take an an average of at least 60% of the newborns will have jaundice only precaution from mother side is like you know uh, take a good healthy protein diet maintain adequate hydration and you feed your baby adequately like either demand feeds or every two to three hourly you need to feed your baby so this is how we can uh, prevent jaundice in the newborns so friends uh, if you and uh, so many individuals will be asking like uh, if the mother takes non veg or if she takes a boiled egg daily then babies are more prone for uh, jaundice so nothing of that sort it's only purely myth so as long as you take a good protein diet then only you can produce you know adequate uh, breast uh, secretions will be there so i would advise the lactating mothers to have adequate protein diet which includes salmon fish mackerel fish and then uh, nuts uh, dry fruits sunflower seeds and then uh, blueberries all these things will help for the uh, breast milk secretion and including broccoli and tomatoes this contains lycopene as well and which is very healthy for the breast milk secretion so, so friends uh, if you feel uh, the uh, video is informative please uh, like and uh, share with your friends and family members thank you